Sadiq Al Mahdi came from a family of religious and political figures. His grandfather was the leader of the movement to end the British occupation. Mahdi led Sudan for two terms in the 1960s and 80s. He was removed both times by military coups as Sudan buckled under the pressure of religious, linguistic and cultural divisions. A civil war in the south led to a famine that claimed hundreds of thousands of lives. After his second term ended in 1989, Omar al-Bashir ran the country for almost 30 years, but only with the threat and use of brutal military power. Throughout, Mahdi continued to lead the opposition Ummah party against Bashir, although often from outside the country. And when economic hardship spit, he was quick to back protests against Bashir's government. In 2014, Mahdi was arrested, accused of conspiring with armed rebels, a charge that carried the death penalty. He spent time in self-exile in Cairo, but returned to Sudan greeted by large crowds ahead of another mass uprising over crippling food and fuel prices in 2018. The most important demand is that this regime must leave and be replaced by a transitional national government whose duty is to achieve peace and human rights and liberties. The government must implement an economic program that will relieve the suffering of the people, a reform program and a national conference to draft the constitution. The protests eventually led to the ousting and jailing of Omar al-Bashir for corruption. Mahdi then pushed for a transfer to civilian rule. Political active until the pandemic arrived, al-Mahdi tested positive for COVID-19. He was taken to the United Arab Emirates for treatment, but succumbed to the virus. He will be remembered as a leader of Sudan's largest political party and Sudan's last democratically elected prime minister.